All right, I'm recording this off of my phone, so if the sound doesn't sound as good, I do apologize. Sorry, okay, I'm sorry, your highness. Regardless, <laughs> it's not the point on why you clicked onto this video. First of all, the number one reason why I'm making this video is because my touchscreen wasn't working and I just got a fix to it, so I'm gonna help you solve that. Second of all, as a bonus, if you are struggling like I am, let's say, so this is what happened to me, and if it sounds familiar, then follow along. If you have any questions, ask down below. So what happened to me was um, I put in a new SSD card. Um, my friend came over who's good with computers. He helped me and you know help me set this up and everything so what happened was when we put in the new ssd everything went well we put it in properly but then when i tried to switch it on it stayed black for a long time and then it finally switched on and then it and then i got a message saying the default it's like a white background of a bot and it said the default something software is not installed please do it and then reinstall this is that and i just it kept doing that and i just couldn't get away past it um if that's the same place that you're stuck in i'm gonna put a comment on the screen right now from a guy from reddit that has helped me out massively shout out to this guy i love you i don't know where you're from in the world but i wish nothing but the best for you um yeah thank you so much man because just like him you know just like he was struggling i was struggling and if you're if you clicked onto this video and you're struggling too yeah that, that's the comment that i followed um but the issue is uh, so basically essentially what he's saying is you need to get a usb stick go onto a pc with windows copy the bios or just i don't know he says it, i can't really remember you know you read the comment he, he literally tells you what to do but plug in the usb to another device like a computer and then plug in that usb that has that thing on it into the legion go but then you're gonna think how the fuck am i plugging in a usb stick into the legion go there's no usb slot you need a dock you need a, a dock station um for the legion go now i will provide a link for the dock in the description the one that i used you can buy it too it's an amazing dock instead of just buying a random dock just to do this you should buy a good dock that does other things as well like the dock that i got has an extra sd slot an hdmi cable like it's a 13 in one it's got two fans as well to keep my device cool it's just got a bunch of stuff and it's a really good dock so what i would recommend is you to buy that dock instead of just buying a dock that just does this one thing and you know it's kind of a shit dock um but yeah anyways back to the topic now after i did all of that and like i said thank you to him i got onto my legion go background now here's the thing when i got to this home screen um i never had legion space so when i pressed that button this my legion space never came up guys as you can see i am broke so if you can like and subscribe and hit the if you can show love so i can buy some more games you know i would appreciate it. i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking i promise i crack games anyway is am i am i allowed to say it on youtube anyways let's get back to the video um but yeah but anyways my touch screen wasn't working at all and i'm pretty sure that is why you clicked onto this video because if you're at this stage i might as well your touch screen isn't working too you're trying to look online and there is a few issues i need to start with now there's two issues one is your touch screen doesn't work completely which is where i was at two your touch screen works but it's like jittery and laggy now from what i done from what i know from my research if your touch screen is jittery and laggy then what you can do is change the charge because i i think you need to go to like the power charging management or something like that i'll, I'll provide some more details look I'll, I'll put i'll hold some more information about this in the description because i'm not too aware it's just what i remember people saying is if it is jittering and if it has an issue like that it probably is the charge or the power supply that you're using to charge up the device which bugs it out or maybe use the original one or to order the original one and that should solve the issue as far as i'm aware that is how you solve it if that doesn't solve it for you please do let me know and i will do more research and i will update you on what you can do back to the issue the main issue on why your touchscreen is not working now i have to remember this right and i'm kind of using my phone to record this so i can't really you know check up on it so i'm gonna go off memory here um what did i do i think i came here <laughs> i'm not good with computers i'm like an uncle and i think i came here and then i pressed uh device manager yep device manager great it is this wonderful and what you want to do is come here and then click onto the human interface devices i know you cannot really see it because every time i go in it kind of blurs it out but the hu it says uh human interface devices <laughs> that's what it says <laughs> so yeah that's what you need to click and then over there you will see two things HD compliant touchpad and uh, HD compliant touchscreen. Now you want to click onto both of these and uh, hold on to it. Now I tried to press the update button, but every time I pressed update, it said I was already updated to the latest drivers. So that didn't really do much. And then I tried to uninstall just the touch screen and then i restarted it so first thing i did was i installed i uninstalled the touch screen and then i reinstalled it and then i um yeah i got back to it and it still didn't work now if you don't know how to reinstall these things don't worry it's super easy you don't even need to go online you do it literally right here you press one button it does it for you don't worry don't panic just follow me along so what you want to do is click onto these two and uninstall them i will repeat them again h i d did i say h d anyways i is that an eye? That is an eye. Sorry, my bad. HID compliant touchpad. Uh, <laughs> touchpad. Yeah, delete that. Uninstall it. 
and then delete the, um, sorry, uninstall the HID compliant touchscreen as well. Once they're both gone from this menu, it will like do like a refreshing thing as if you just refreshed it, that's fine. Go to the top left and press action, <laughs> press action. And then it says um, scan for hardware changes. Now, immediately when you press that, it's gonna say scanning for hardware changes and then immediately it's gonna reinstall them for you. I swear to God, it takes like 10 seconds. You don't need to panic or worry about deleting them or uninstall. Them. Now, after you've done that, you want to then go ahead and um, switch off your device restart it and then it should work okay it, it should definitely work that's what i did i i promise you guys like i tried many other things i think there was like another thing i tried to do as well um and the other thing i tried to do as well i'm pretty sure was um if i'm not wrong it was in hardware and software and then over here you can see um if you go to your control panel then hardware and sound sorry and then you can see this calibrate uh touch screen and stuff like that now the issue with this is i tried to do this but i couldn't calibrate because my touch screen literally wasn't working so it's telling me to like oh like we're gonna put a cursor here touch that so we know like you're touching it with one finger but like the thing is the screen isn't working itself so i can't really do that and i know my screen is working because before i inserted the new sd card ssd card it was working perfectly i had no issues so it's just when i made this changed with the new ssd card then i like sort of bugged out the system but yeah that is what solved it for me i do want to go back and talk about one other thing just about that reddit post also you might get stuck on a wi-fi screen whilst trying to do the setup the initial setup and the guy in the comment as well that you know he talks about there as well like he does tell you exactly how you can bypass it you will need to plug in a keyboard too so like i said you will need to buy a dock for this like you, you can't you, there is no usb slots for this unless you have a dongle that's like a usb slot to a type c then obviously then you can plug it in but i i my recommendation would be to just buy the Dot. That way you have an extra SD card slot, a way to connect it to your TV, a way to plug in a keyboard and mouse to make this much easier as well. Because if you don't have a keyboard and mouse and your touch screen doesn't work, this is going to be hell. You're going to have to use this and then it's just like it takes long. There's not enough space. You have to keep dragging it across like this and it's just it's just hell. Okay, so you do you. I, I advise you. <laughs> you're free to do whatever you want to do. But yeah, that is it from me, guys. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, I tried to make it as quick as I can. I hope I didn't confuse you by jumping all over the place. Uh, if you are, please, please, please do not be ashamed to comment down below. I am a small YouTuber. I'm so small to the point that I don't even consider myself a YouTuber. If you do comment, I will see your comment and I will help you out. I know how scary it can be to change the SSD. I'm not good with computers. I am in the exact same shoe as you. I just has I just have friends that are good with computers. That's all. <laughs> so if you need to ask any questions, I could try my best to like forward the questions onto them and I can, you know, give their reply to you. Um, with all that being said, do not forget to show the love and support. Um, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Also on my channel, there are two other videos about the Lenovo Legion Go. Top six accessories. Accessories. There you go. I said it perfectly. <laughs> the top six accessories that you can buy for your lenovo legion go and a lenovo legion go unboxing i don't know if you want to watch that uh, if you do sure great I, i'd appreciate it if you don't i, I perfectly understand why I, I don't see why you'd want to watch a video like that if you already got lenovo legion go but don't worry about it <laughs> with all that being said though guys this this whole thing is stressful and the, the best way i can the best thing i can tell you is to just take your time don't panic and just think it through i went online i was even looking for a shop nearby to repair my device and like and it's all the way in like scotland or something and then i have to like fucking travel like four hours i'm just like and i'm panicking i'm like oh my god i have to buy this ticket how much is it gonna cost and then oh my god i need to go this day because i got this to do on that day and I'm, like, I'm planning so far ahead whereas if i just keep it cool and i try every single other solution and i just think it through you might be able to find a solution so yeah that's the best advice i can give for you and also when you're undoing your device when you're undoing it be gentle be calm take your time i know <laughs> i'm basically projecting at this point <laughs> these are the things i was supposed to say to myself and i didn't do them myself so now i'm, I'm telling you today <laughs> yeah anyways hopefully you're having a good day and uh yeah